In this video, we are going to start talking about vector spaces. In previous videos, we've been talking about vectors that can be represented by ordered and tuples. We began with ordered pairs, then we extended those to ordered triples, etc., and ordered n tuples of real numbers for an arbitrary positive integer n. We also learned about the notation of Rn. Specifically, R2 is the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers, R3 is the set of all ordered triples of real numbers, and Rn is the set of all ordered n tuples of real numbers. And in the videos to follow, we're going to extend the concept of vectors to a more abstract level. We're going to do that by summarizing the essential properties of the Euclidean space Rn, and using those properties to define a concept called vector space. At the end of this series of videos, we're going to understand vectors as elements of vector spaces. Before we proceed, I need to make sure that you're familiar with set theory. So if you don't know the, the answers to the following questions, what is a set? What does it mean to be an element of a set? What does it mean for a set to contain certain elements? Then you need to press the pause button and look up videos about what is a set before you come back to this video. And for the rest of this video, I am going to assume that you're familiar with the concepts and notations of basic set theory. So using set theory notations, any ordered pair of real numbers is an element of the set R2. Any ordered triple of real numbers is an element of the set R3. And any ordered n tuple of real numbers is as an element of the set Rn. Now let's verify that there are 10 properties of Rn that holds true for any positive integer n. The first property is that the sum of any two elements of Rn is still an element of Rn. Let's take R2 for example. The sum of any two two tuples of real numbers is still a two tuple of real numbers which is still an element of R2. Therefore, R2 satisfies this property number one. You can verify that any sum of two n tuples is still an element of Rn. This property is known as the closed under addition property. It means when you add two elements of this set, the result does not go out of the set. So Rn is closed under addition, where addition is defined as component-wise addition of vector components. The second property says if you have two elements u and v in Rn, then u plus v is equal to v plus u. In other words, the add operation defined for elements in the set follows commutative law of addition. The third property is the associative law of addition. That is, if I have three elements, u, v, and w in Rn, then u plus parenthesis of v plus w should equal to parenthesis of u plus v plus w. The fourth property is that there exists a zero vector in Rn, which is the n-tuple of zeros, so that under the definition of addition, the sum of zero and any other vector in Rn is equal to that vector itself. These properties are easily verifiable because addition of vectors is defined component-wise, so the commutative and associative law of addition of scalars and the property of the scalar zero just carries over. I have to pause here before this video gets too long, so I'm going to talk about properties 5 to 10 in the following video. 